So in this video, we're going to go through uh, what is called forms, and forms are basically the skeleton of uh, virtually every component-based um, family in Revit. Um, virtually everything is built from forms. So the first type of form is the, probably the simplest and most commonly used, which is the extrusion. An extrusion is nothing more than a uh, two-dimensional shape of some sort extruded along a path. So um, or extruded along a, uh, a, a given distance. So we, we could come in here, say just draw a rectangle or something, and I don't know, let's give it a little more interest here. Draw a shape here, and get rid of this line. And over here on the left in our properties window, we've got the extrusion end and uh, starts, basically our length of the extrusion. So as soon as we hit finish, go into a 3D view and we can see that extrusion. Very, very simple and again probably the most commonly used uh, form in Revit architecture. The next is uh, a blend which basically has a bottom profile and a top profile. So for instance in this case what we would do is on a bottom profile we might have something like that. We would say edit top and we could draw say for instance a circle and again, we have a, 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 a first elevation and end elevation. And we hit finish, and what it does is it blends those, uh, those shapes across that length. Pretty simple, again. The next one is a revolve. Revolve basically takes a two-dimensional shape of some sort and rotates it around a 3D axis. So for instance, in this case, what we could do is just draw something uh, interesting here. Just maybe take like a spline or something. And then we would do uh, create what's called an axis line. We can use a reference plane as an axis line, but then it'll be constrained to that axis. So in this case, I don't want mine to be uh, constrained to that axis, so I'm just going to draw a line here, an axis line. And when I hit finish, what it does is it uh, literally uh, rotates that shape around the, the axis line, so, which we can see here. So this might be a little easier, easier to see with the shaded there. Okay, again, pretty simple. Our next type is what's called a sweep. A sweep is basically a two-dimensional shape that's extruded along a path. So the first thing we would typically do is sketch the path out. Um, let's just sketch out something here. Okay. When we're happy with the path, then we um, edit the profile. We can load a pre-drawn profile, or we can create one from scratch here. That's what I'm going to do in this case. I'm going to go into a 3D view and uh, draw a profile here. So literally what we do is just go in here and draw the shape of what we want extruded across that profile. So for instance I wanted, uh, I don't know, maybe in, uh, some kind of arced shape of some sort. When I hit finish, that's going to finish the profile and then I finish one more time and it extrudes that shape along the, uh, the profile as you can see there. Again, pretty simple. And the last one is what's called a swept blend. So basically it takes, uh, again, a sketch path, um, just like the normal, oops, just like the normal um, sweep. But the difference, the key difference here is that it takes uh, two shapes, um, two profiles, one on either end, and uh, basically transitions the form from one to the other. So we would select profile one, say edit profile, go out again into a 3D view. And let's say that uh, in this case, oops. Right now we're editing this profile. Let's see on this end, we've got an art uh, shape kind of like we had on the previous example. And we're happy with that one, then we'll add a profile two. And on this one, let's make this one. Uh, let's make this one a tr like a triangle. 
And again, these are very, very basic uh, examples, but you can see the, the concept here. As soon as we finish, and finish one more time, it starts with an arc on one end and basically transitions that shape across the profile path to a triangle on the other end. Pretty simple concepts. So, in our next video, what we're going to do is uh, show um, how you to create void extrusions, which is virtually the same thing as a solid extrusion, with the exception of that they remove uh, geometry from um, some kind of solid uh, when the, whenever uh, they intersect with something.